Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone captain. Today we're going to be doing the review of Convergence. This is a lock screen tweak. You can get it for two dollars and a half in Mod My Repo, and it's available for iOS six and seven. So keep that in mind if you're still running iOS six, you can use this tweak. So let's go ahead and let me show you what it looks like from the lock screen. You see here we got some little pointy arrows looking at us. And you can change, this is actually a, one of the themes that comes pre-installed on this that I have configured. And you see if you swipe this way, you get different toggles. You get your brightness control up here at the top. If you tap up there, you got your media controls. And if you swipe to the left, you got your camera and makes it very easy to access it. And if you swipe down from the top, you got your weather and RSS feeds different things you can configure and I'll show you how to do that just in a second. So you swipe up to unlock and I wanted to show you what it, how it worked with a passcode. And as you can see, there's no problems with that. You just simply type your passcode in and you're on your way. So let's go ahead and open up the settings. And in the convergence settings here, you see you've got several different things you can change. The first one we're gonna look at is the theme. And I have it set on conceptual. And we'll go ahead and put it on default. And I'll just sort of flip through these and let you look at them. And you see that puts a little, like a little round. And I, while they're coming up here, you see these notifications popping up. And you can see they look much cleaner. Everything is in order. Just a lot easier to touch each of those icons rather than having them all right down here at the bottom squished together. This lock screen tweak has really done a good job making those easier to access. So getting back to the themes though, guys, if we go back in here and go back to the themes, let's go back down here. Here's the thin one. And it just sort of changes the, the uh, outline a little bit. And the one that I had it set on earlier was the... Uh, conceptual one I'm thinking so let's go ahead and look at charcoal that's one we haven't seen yet and when it comes up you see it just makes your your little uh, ball thing there a little bit darker and so let's go ahead and put it back on conceptual that's what it was on to start with and you see you can change the font from thin fonts you can turn that off and I'm assuming it'll make your font a little bit thicker and as you can see, it does. They look just a little bit different. Not nothing extravagant, but you know, nevertheless, it's still there. Okay, now you got your interface, which is the background. You can blur the the wallpaper on the background if you want to. And you see right here, I got it all the way over. Now it'll be blurry. You won't be able to make it out where before it was sort of the space wallpaper I had on there. And if you want to change some of the widgets, which that's what makes this special, I have all three of them enabled right now. And let me show you how those look. So if we swipe down, we get our widgets. And you see I've got the calendar here, RSS feed. And if you swipe up, you get you see you got your extended forecast on there. Here's your calendar, extended uh, events, things of that nature. If you may have uh, entered into your device it makes them very easy to see and swiping up and then going edit and let's remove the calendar down here to where it says disabled now the calendar won't be in there anymore and you've even got some things you can change on your album art uh, that's one thing I hadn't showed you yet okay now I've got some album art here so there's what that means by minimal that's actually not minimal, that's medium. And let's go back in here. Mini, it doesn't even show up, but the full screen, I don't like it because it just blows it up too much. Well, it looks a little bit better on that particular album art, but the one I was looking at earlier, it didn't look as good. And here you got some more settings you can fool around with in the advanced section. You can change up the text and the notification icons and things of that nature. I'm going to leave those for you to figure out. But let me know what do you think about the tweak. Do you think it's going to be worth the 250 or are you going to grab it today? Let us know in the comments below. 
you're not a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button. Share it on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.